Hey, what's going on YouTube? Hey, got a different video for y'all here today. What I'm gonna do today is I'm making a catch pole. For y'all know what a catch pole is, it is basically a pole with a loop at the end and it's designed to safely, to keep the animal safe and for you, your safety as well, to like say you was to uh, trap one an animal you wasn't expecting and such as a coyote. And so what you can do is wrap that loop basically around the animal's like neck area you can tighten it and that pole keeps that distance from you and the animal to safely you know unhook his foot from the trap or whatever the case may be and then you can basically release him and off he goes so what i'm gonna do is be making one and mine will be for the purpose of um when we're running the fox pens and stuff like that sometimes coyotes get hung up in wires or anything you just never know but uh <clears throat> uh what i'm making y'all what i'm making today is a homemade one so it's a little quick quick one uh probably i think all together Everything cost me about maybe less than twenty dollars. I would say uh, if you already have a what I'm using is a used lawnmower belt, um, which we just happen to have one of those. But uh, I'm gonna show y'all now how I how I put one together. All right. All right. So first, what we're gonna do is we're gonna measure this out to about fifty four inches. That's what I'm gonna be about doing mine somewhere around that. It's good enough. Be a good distance. 54 inches right in here so that'll be around the one that's shown in here it'll be close enough and that one there i'll just put that in there and get a quick cut on that the cut right in there quick and easy such like that this essentially is going to be the basis of the catch pole. 54 inches. I mean, that's enough to keep whatever it is at a good distance from you. All right. Then what you're going to do is take what I'm using. You can use wire um, or anything. The reason I didn't choose wire is because I'm going to be dealing with a lot of electrical fences. Um, being I'm being the fox pen. So a lot of times they hide up in the, the electric wire and... You don't want it to you know you go to try to get him out or help him out and you know that electric wire that you're touching i mean well the electric wire that he's touching or whatever it gets transmitted through the wire on your catch pole and then it shocks you so what i'm using is this lawnmower um lawnmower belt it's an old one um they usually are pretty pretty tough it was tough for me to even cut this in half what I'm gonna do though is I'm gonna feed it through. Should be plenty enough. And then what I'm gonna do here is one second. What I'm gonna do on this side is you want a big enough loop to really get around his neck. So you want to look for something about, i uh, say something like that. That's definitely big enough to get around his neck. So what you're going to do from there is, tape, I just got duct tape, which I mean, I got to get the job done. And I got camo, of course. Everything's better than camo. Let's get this open. Should have had this open before I started. Yeah, what we're gonna do is first of all we gotta find the start. Here we go. So what you're essentially gonna do, I'm just rip a piece off the nail. I need a little bit more than this though, but I'm gonna start with this. Just gonna get a good little small amount, maybe a couple of inches, few inches down. And what we're gonna do is just wrap this around here. Wrap 
get on there, get it on there pretty tight. Got a couple pieces. I don't know how I just ripped this last piece. No tape usually rips easier than that. I don't know why it's not. So what we want to do is this is the last thing you want to come undone. You do not want this to come undone. Especially you got a, a pretty amped up Yodi on the end of this. You want to make sure this is pretty secure. So I bought this for this, so I'm not trying to save any tape here. Just get this wrapped around nice and good. What I'm going to do, like I said, you don't want that to come down. No matter what's on the end of it, obviously using a pole for the reason that's something aggressive or something you don't want to get bit bad at the end of this so I want to make sure that's pretty tight on there so what you're going to do basically is put this around his neck or whatever and then you just tighten it that should be good that's all to it that's it that's all easy simple catch bowl don't get no simpler than that. Alright. Edge on customs to it. Whatever you want to do to it. That's all there's to it. Thank y'all for watching.